So in general, uh, Ukraine uh, became the eastern hub of wire harnesses manufacturing for automotive. Probably um, most of you um, have seen in news uh, information about some OEMs who cannot manufacture anymore because they don't have uh, wire harnesses. So you may raise a question yourself if this will be as dramatic as the situation with electronic components, if lead times would uh, be like weeks or months or even years. So we try to answer this uh, question ourselves. So when you look uh, and online we have several people who are from automotive, but uh, maybe not all of you know how the wire harness is manufactured and what kind of product uh, it is compared to your products. So what I would like to say is at the beginning that uh, to assemble a wire harness is like uh, building Lego bricks or putting puzzles together. Most of those components which are needed to be assembled in the wire harness come from China, Japan and Western Europe or Central Europe production and uh, most of them are maybe not catalog components because you cannot replace one supplier to another supplier but those are the components which are used by the several wire harness makers and when it comes to the main wire harness and to the cars most of oems they do follow the dual source policy so basically the volume is split the challenge today to resource from Ukraine is mainly in logistic efforts. You need to move thousands of different components or secure availability of those components uh, somewhere else. And the challenge is to find people to assemble those harnesses. Each of these plant is like 1,000, 2,000, even 6,000 people who have to work jointly to assemble wire harnesses. What is even more impactful to uh, electronics, let's say in general, uh, are the two logos that you are able to uh, see in the bottom. So Crown and Ingas, these two manufacture of neonium gas, not only of neonium gas, but these two only, they are responsible for manufacturing of round about 54% of global supply of um, neonium gas that is being utilized early at the raffination and uh, at the manufacturing of wafers and, and PCBs. This is cleaned uh, gas that is being acquired uh, during the, the, the steel manufacturing and uh, what we could call um, polluted gas, uh, industrial gas has used to be sent mainly from Russia to Ukraine, then cleaned, raffinated, and then sold back to um, to the industry. So it means that roughly 50% of the supply is gone, okay? Uh, in gas is in Mariupol, so definitely these uh, the, the, the premises have been even destroyed. So we are not talking about something that is easily uh, refundable. From the notices in the market, we clearly see that the supply of that gas should uh, uh, become a problem within the next three to four weeks. So the stocks of that gas and uh, the, the alternatives exist, of course, but uh, primarily in Southern Africa, uh, this is very difficult to uh, transfer. So uh, what we can see is an impact that is not per se of the component, but um, of the supply technical gas, which will be heavily, heavily impacted. As said, 50% of world supply is within Creoin and Ingas uh, that, that you're able to see.